All right, so what we have now is a 14 million polygon monster that has to be retopologized. <laughs> Just kidding. No, we're only going to retopologize the head. Um, now there is a way to do this using topology tools, and I went through it just a few hours ago and is by far the most complex thing you've ever imagined in your whole life so to drag a student through that I like you guys too much <laughs> um, I would say seriously seriously there is something a little bit weird with topology so we're gonna avoid topology changes here in ZBrush at this level because this level is kind of complex think about it 14 million polys okay there's one so it's dragging down your system a little bit two we have fingers toes um, all kinds of different changes here another thing is we're using ZBrush topology right now as of this this base creature um, has some funky topology there's no doubt about it so we're going to take that topology into Maya and fix it up there and using the new project all we're going to fix it up a little bit now that means fix it up a little bit we're not going to go and rely on too formal of topology um, I just want a good mouth and good eyes and that's all you know so I'm going to I'm going to let up on my uh, expectations a little bit and go for halfway that being said let's get started and right now what I have is a sub tool here so just one sub tool this is the low this is a high creature it has a high and a low so I can back it all the way down And what we're going to do is just go into Go Z. Let me get rid of anything in GoZ. As I said, I was playing around earlier trying to get everything going, but uh, I changed my mind. So here's one on the keyboard and six on the keyboard to get it weight shaded. So here's the problem. When I insert an edge loop here, it's going all the way down, all the way around, all the way around here, all the way around the arm, and then back around, and then it totally misses the one triangle that ZBrush decided to put in here. Or, not triangle, but quad. But the quad is, it's got an, a natural edge loop, and what happened is it got completed here. It shouldn't have got completed here, because now the edge loop doesn't flow around the creature, and so the midline is broke. Okay, end of story. Now, I'm going to walk you through this, and there's going to be some errors, and you're going to have to trust me on things, um, on what I choose to do to get around those errors. And those are only me running into these errors previously to uh, make sure that you know those, no errors exist within my workflow. So now you get to experience what what I ran into. So first off, I'm gonna have to go and break down the creature midline. Okay. In Maya, this is very simple, and if you're in my modeling two class, you should be able to do this no problem. You should be able to navigate Maya with ease. So I'm gonna tailor this to my students rather than try to drag my internet people along for the ride. I do have a nice Maya series in, incidentally so you might want to check those out. What I'm going to do is delete all faces on one side 
notice I'm deleting everything on the negative x. Okay, here's x. So this is negative x. So anything pointing to the left-hand side of the arrow is negative, just like algebra. Flashback city, right? Okay, now here's the one issue we're going to have. Technically, I need to make a new midline. That means I have to skosh everything over just a little bit. Now, that's going to affect a lot back in ZBrush land. So I'm just going to move it just a little bit, and then D and X. Then, I'm going to edit duplicate special square box. I'm going to reset my settings, put a negative here. And you students of mine that are naturally going over to bridge, please stop. Don't even do it. Uh, first off, we're going to save our scene. That way I get to show you some of the badness that occurs. And I'm going to label this thing on my desktop. So I already have a thing. Thing. And now this is saved, so I'm going to show you what happens here. And then in the next video, we're going to see how to repair it. So check this out. Grab both of them and mesh combine them. Crash. Watch, it doesn't crash. No, nope, it'll crash. It crashes for a reason. And in the next video, I'm going to show you why it crashes. So please go to the next video.